in touch with it, there's a kind of a shame, there's a kind of a suffering that happens. So that shame and that internal suffering, that, 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 that sense of self-betrayal is our sure guide that we're not being ourselves. On one level, that happens to a lot of people. And then we, we look good in the eyes of others and yet internally we suffer shame because we know that we, we're not being ourselves. When we say, how do we know well, that, that for many of us there's an internal knowledge that arises? Why? Why? Because that essential self hasn't gone away and is calling to us. Mm -hmm. And we don't feel right when we betray it or when we're not out of tongue, contact with it. Now, that doesn't happen for many people. That doesn't happen for everybody. For some people then, it takes some catastrophe. So what I'm saying is that at some point or another, if you're not in touch with that inner voice, if you don't hear it, the body will speak to you loud and clear. You're going to get something happen to you. Uh, and sometimes that'll happen in the form of illness or symptoms. Then the body's talking to you. The body's saying no when you're not saying no. If the voice doesn't speak to you directly, or if, if it speaks to you and you don't listen, your body at some point is going to kick in. Or you're going to get depressed. Or anxious. Or something else. Or something will happen in your personal relationships. And at that point, you can say, well, it's I'm not with the right partner. Screw them, it's all their fault, which many of us say. Or for some people, it becomes the, the opening of a door where we begin to look, okay, what in here wasn't authentic? What in here wasn't uh, genuine? How, how did I create this situation? How do I keep creating these situations over and over again? Am I just a victim of bad luck? Or is there some pattern here? Mm. In other words, something happens, some difficulty happens to, um, to shape your, your complacent belief that things are just fine the way they are. And Keep you know, healing, warriors. Uh, great, great teacher, A.H. Alma, says that the, the most difficult thing, that ha things that happen to us are also the most compassionate things because basically they're way, way a part of it uh, uh, how he puts it a part of us a part of us that loves us more than anything else puts these roadblocks in our way saying that's not the way that's not the way that's not the way we better not go that you know so he, there's roadblocks in the way to bring us to ourselves dr gaber mate you know? and so we can look upon our difficulties